Hi. Have you ever played any activities that involves basketball, such as knockout or horse and lost? Well, I'm here to teach you how not to lose. <laughs> okay, so the most important things when you sh comes to shooting a basketball is consistency and repetition. Most players in the NBA don't have the exactly perfect form, but just because they're so like used to shooting the ball, that they're consistent. They're so consistent, and they have repped out their motions so many times that they it's just second nature for them to shoot the ball. And so, but I'm here to teach you how to have perfect form, which will lead to an easier shot and will uh, make you be more successful in shooting the ball. Okay. The first thing is finger pad control. So to start out with the these, this is a simple drill that you can do with uh, little steps and that will help you improve your shooting and your hand control and balance of the ball. So everyone knows that you shoot with two hands, but for this drill you'll only be using one hand, so it'll help you in the long run because a shot is technically one-handed. And so you want to start out with your dominant hand, left or right, I'm left-handed, in like a handshake position or if you're going to give someone a high five and balance the ball with one hand and then just like this, just so your finger pads are on the ball, you should have a space in between your hand so the ball is only on your finger pads. And then once you have that, you want to bring the ball up above your dominant eye and still balancing the ball, still with the space underneath your palm. And then this leads to your shooting motion. So when you do it with two hands, you'll just go right here naturally, how you practice with one hand. And then once you get it above your eye, you want to focus on locking out your arm and flicking your wrist as you shoot it. Those are big points, because when you lock out your arm, most shooters, or not most, some shooters that do not lock out their arms and have kind of a 90 degree angle, have trouble with the velocity and power on their ball. And so when they shoot it, they have trouble missing long and short because they can't control it. But, but once shooters like Steph Curry, who's the best shooter in the world, if you watch him shoot, he always locks out his arm and flicks his wrist as, it's kind of the same as throwing a football. I call it like, sticking your hand in a cookie jar on the top shelf as how it's kind of a reminder how to do it. And so you just finger pack control, bring it above your dominant eye, balancing the ball, and then flick it in the air towards the basket. Now this is obviously you can't shoot it one handed from long range like a three pointer or even a free throw. So this is really a drill that you can do close up to the basket or even on a mini goal, which is what I did when I was little, just to help me kind of prepare my shot, my dad would always help me out with this. And so, Devin, you wanna come try? Yeah. And it's a lot easier. Sometimes you can just lay down on your bed at night and just focus on this, but laying down develops more of a push shot because of the way gravity works. So it's a lot easier to sit in a chair. You want me to show you first? Yeah. Okay. It's a lot easier to sit in a chair because that focuses more on your posture and helps you stand up right because leaning back on your shot is, is really detrimental to how your arch is, and if you lean back, it'll start to shoot short because that's how your body reacts. So when you sit in a chair, make sure you have good posture and have your finger pad control and then bring it above your dominant eye and then focus on shooting it high, locking out your arm, and flicking your wrist. That would be better. So I'm gonna think like this. Start on your Control it, yeah, and bring it up to your dominant eye. Okay. <laughs> you can just keep it balanced. Yeah. Yeah, and then lock out your arm. It's like, okay. Yeah, it's perfect. And then once you start getting good at that, you can obviously incorporate your guide hand, which is what it's called for a reason, because most people only shoot with your guide hand. It's just there so the ball doesn't fall off your hand, because a jump shot, like I said before, is technically one-handed, and then. Uh, shooters that have trouble, that do use their guide hand to help push the ball forward, have trouble with shooting the ball, It'll, your guide hand causes the ball to go left or right. And so you just want it there to balance the ball in your hand when you shoot it. And when your body, when you have got your shot form down, your body works as one. So when you're at a free throw or a three pointer, which is deeper, then your legs and your arms work together to get your power correct. And then that also comes with, like I said, repetition and consistency is key. And thank you for your time.